Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing good today. Uh, update on the family was put out by Michigan police that um, they announced they'd found the family of four who'd been missing since October 16th after the father exhibited paranoid behaviors last weekend. The Fremont Police Department would like to thank you for all of the help locating the family. The department said in a statement on Sunday, the family was successfully located in Wisconsin. And so um, I think that's more of probably what this article says. Um, the Michigan family who went missing after the father claimed to have secret knowledge about the September 11th terror attack was found safe, Sunday authorities said. Now, before I read more, they were found safe, but unfortunately, there's still, there's still more to it and we don't have answers to things. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you guys a video of right after I finish reading this. Um, the family was located in Stevens Point, Wisconsin in the morning. Police told M Live and authorities have subsequently closed the case into their disappearance. It's too bad. Um, Anthony and Suzette, both 51, and sons Brandon, 19, Noah, 15, went missing last Sunday. The patriarch ca had called 911 hours before the family disappeared, saying, quote, people want to erase me from the face of the earth, and that his family needed police protection. Fremont Police Chief Tim Rodwell told M Live on Sunday that, quote, all members of the family were interviewed and determined to be safe. They are still in the opinion, they are still of the opinion that the family are F that, uh, okay, they are still of the opinion that people are after them, but the elements of the investigation do not meet the criteria for protective custody. So that's, that's new. That's what they're saying once they ended up finding them was that they still believe that people are after them right i don't know oh boy um the family had been spotted monday in michigan's upper peninsula but hadn't been seen since and authorities had said that the father was displaying paranoia paranoia about the fbi and the cia um that's interesting too <clears throat> that he was paranoid about the FBI and the CIA. Um, we didn't know that he did feel paranoid about either of them. We just knew that he felt paranoid about something to do with 9-11 and information that he had, but they didn't say that it was ever the FBI and the CIA. So um, that's interesting too. Um, quote, I'm not crazy. Mr. Geating knows me. I'm a Christian. I just need some help. The father said in his 911 call last week, referencing a local cop in his town. I know this sounds crazy. You don't have instructions for this. The family left behind their pets and Suzette's mother, who is dementia, and was found wandering the street in their Michigan town. So let me take you guys over to this video. Um, yeah, it's very, it's quite strange. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm still concerned. I st it still doesn't answer, right, after you watch this video. It doesn't answer why they still made the decision that they had to go, and it was at the expense of Suzette's mother and their pets to not contact anybody in their family and say, watch Suzette's mother and the pets, because we're leaving, period, goodbye. They didn't have to say where they were going, but they could have at least given somebody a heads up to watch the vulnerable. Our top story tonight, the Sirigliano family who went missing for a week were found safe. The Fremont Police Department made contact with Anthony, Suzette, Brandon and Noah around 11 a.m. today that was in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. The Sirigliano's have not been heard from since Sunday, October 16th. That's after the 911 call Anthony made to police asking for immediate police protection. Police believe they left their home sometime Monday afternoon, leaving their family pets and grandmother behind. And that's where we find 13 Your Sides, Trevor Gonzalez. Trevor, you've been talking to neighbors all afternoon. Is there any sense of relief in this neighborhood tonight? Yeah, Elena, the answer has to be a resounding yes, whether they knew the Sirigliano family or not. The community here practically all watching with bated breath, trying to see how this would develop and turn out. And this news is something that gives everybody a much needed sigh of relief.
Now, it has been four days since the Fremont Police Department announced that the family had been missing. What made things more unusual, like you had mentioned, was the fact that Anthony Cerigliano had called 911 last Sunday asking for that police protection, and even mentioning the September 11 attacks. Now, on Monday, the family's grandmother, who has dementia, also left the re residence unattended to the point where a neighbor had to call police because she was wandering alone in the neighborhood. Now, the last thing we had previously known about the family is that they had been spotted at a gas station in the UP over on Monday. Now, there are still many questions surrounding why this trip was so sudden and why the mother or father didn't put someone to care for their grandmother or their pets. But neighbors here are just glad to know that the family is safe. It is kind of interesting to find out. I don't know if we need to know all of the answers. It's better to know that they're safe and that uh, they're moving, moving forward with their lives. Now, we attempted to contact the Fremont, Pol Fremont Police Department to get a little bit more update as to uh, what might, wh where they would be, where they would be going, but they were just not available to comment. We're here in front of that home, and there is some activity. I will presume that it is family, but they are not wanting to comment, and understandably so. Now, in the final release, they, the police department over in Fremont thank the public for their efforts. For now, here in Fremont, Trevor Gonzalez, 13, on your side. Trader, thank you. Fremont police added the family still believes they are in danger. However, police say they do not meet the criteria for protective custody. It is unclear tonight when the family will return home. But stay with 13 on your side as we continue to follow this story. And you can find our previous coverage and much more on our streaming app, 13 Plus. Right. So they do not meet the criteria for protective custody. So they're not able to basically protect them, right? Um, so they're going to keep, who knows if they're going to return back to their home or when. They abandon everything, their whole life. Everything. They abandon it all. Something like the man is not stable, I don't think. But maybe, as we've said from his past job in the U.S. Um, district court and his, what his, requirement, a job requirement was knowing all of the account information and password information to everybody because he's the one that had to set that up in the system. Um, I don't know if possible that he does have a reason to fear someone, but I don't know that it would be a CIA and the FBI, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think that we may not get these answers. <clears throat> I am concerned that something could happen to them and it may not be because the father does it. Who knows? He could go further off the end, uh, the edge and, and tip right down and decide that, right? Like how they shaved off the pets and they shaved off the, the mother-in-law. He may think like, Hey, my children are, uh, you know, they're causing us to, um, be at risk more. I don't know. I mean, I don't think so because they said that he was very loving and was always about um, providing for his family. So I don't think he would do that. But I mean, I, you can't imagine that you would leave somebody with dementia just at the home and not contact somebody and let them know in advance. But it's, it's just a crazy situation. And the fact that they still think that somebody's after them and like he's still paranoid, he's still concerned still thinks he has reason to fear and they do not know when he's going to return back to their home or if they're going to return back to their home. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wish it wasn't this way for this family. I, I really wish it wasn't. Um, you guys leave your comments in the uh, comment section. I will reply back to you guys. Um, I thought about going live on this tonight and I, I just have, um, so much that I'm trying to do. So I figured I'd at least make a video for you guys. But let me know what you guys think because I, I still think this is not a good situation. Even though the police closed it, they closed it. They're not missing. They've been found. And it's by the his own free will that they've chosen to go off the radar now. So anyway, that was the update on that. But I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye, guys.